What is up, my beautiful people? It's your boy Lyndon. How are you guys all doing today? We have a brand new video. Sorry, I've not been po I've not posted for the last month. I do genuinely apologize. It's one of the situations where I have been trying to make uploads, and um, but like I don't know, it is at the last session something switched my mind. I'm like, nah, not today. Oh, I just, I've actually recorded something, and I've got videos literally recorded, and it comes to editing it, and then my brain's just like, nah, this saying it. Um, but I think I'll tell you what it is. Um, kind of this lock the lockdown that we had and then tier three it is killing my people it is killing my it's killing my productivity and it is not nice and i hate to use that as an excuse but that is lit i don't know what it is it's like before the lockdown and kind of back in 2019 and stuff there was periods where i like to spend large periods of time at home it's something like still so i have a good setup here i love kind of recording and trying to be creative but then there comes a point where you just like, I actually want to be out of the house. I actually want to see people. And that, for me, that's a weird one. Because like, in social settings, I'm actually a bit introverted. But like, you guys see me on camera and it's like, I talk to my audience and I feel really comfortable. And I'm with game, I'm with stream, I'm with Instagram lives. No one thinks I'm like super like, active and happy. But in actual real life and speaking to people, I'm a listener. I'm someone... I'm not I'm not someone that's constantly looking to kind of take lead in the conversation. If someone's having a good conversation and someone's saying that something's quite productive, I'm just there to, I'll just listen and like I'm not always the one that wants to be active, I'm not a person that always wants to be out. But um I do enjoy social setting once in a while, man, and that is what we have been missing this year. And I think it has got to me a bit, but then I realize at the same time the reason that I'm back is that I realise that the world doesn't stop for you. So like I realise if I want to progress myself, I want to progress this channel, I want to progress kind of all things, I have to come back, like, there's no switch, no one cares, like, that's the thing, when I've kind of been in the background, like, no one pulls me out and is like, let's make a video, no one pulls me out and it's like, oh yeah, you should do this, no one's like, no one's checking for you to make those moves to step up and build up and level up, like, if I want to level up, then it's got to come from within me, and there's been it's been times during this lockdown where I feel like I haven't some productive stuff, like I've made some applications to some stuff that I'm going to kind of reveal soon, um, which is going to be big news if it all pulls off, it all comes off hopefully, God willing, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and also, um, and also, what I did actually try and do, which is going to be one of my uh, videos I was going to upload, is I actually set myself a challenge to run 15 miles in five days, and the reason why I did that is after the first week of lockdown, I was just obviously sat in, obviously um, just kind of eating snacks, chilling, gaming, I wasn't really doing much, I was I didn't really do any exercise in the first week, and I was like, well, I don't know, obviously this lockdown was just like, just under four weeks, and it's like, football's on the other side of it, and I was actually feeling quite fit and quite ready to go, man, you know me, big Linny, you know how it goes, big Don, in the middle of the field, like, I don't want to lose kind of, any kind of work I'd done in the gym or kind of just playing football previous to the lockdown, I started to feel a lot better about myself. Like I told you guys, obviously, in my story about me, like, kind of quit my job over summer and that, that, like, um, Obviously, that one of the things was like me getting back in the gym, me going at it, and that's what kind of what I was enjoying. And I was trying, to get, I was getting back to that stage, like I was just, I was really enjoying things again. Um, and obviously, for it to stop, um, what I did do on this time, I was like, well, I'm not gonna be in a situation where, um, because I know last time I went into a lockdown, I put on a stone and. That is a terrible situation to be in, to be... Because I'm already a heavy guard. Even now, I'm nowhere near happy with where I'm at. But I'm in a better situation um, than I was when I was a stone heavier. Um, so this lockdown, I was like, I need to try and keep that to a minimum. I'm going to go out for these runs. And I actually forced myself, like... And like I say, when I say runs, like... Obviously, I'm not, I'm not going from never going for a run to doing three and four miles a day without stopping. Like, of course, man stops very so. Man stops sometimes more often on days than others. But the the idea for me is just to keep going and keep traveling. And I do actually have daily videos of me actually going through these runs and kind of how I made me feel and stuff. So you guys actually want me to drop that video. I will actually get around and edit it because it is actually, it would be a good watch. Um, there's a few um, moments in there as well, which I think you guys would enjoy. So if you guys actually do want to watch that video and you genuinely want to see kind of my running times and stuff, let let me know the kind of more people get behind it let me know you actually want this video i will put my i put everything aside in my head and i will just go out and create it and it'll be it'll be done for you guys as soon as you want it so let me let me know um 
but yeah, man did man went out for the runs, um, and that was quite positive. And then coming back as well, gyms being twenty four hours is something I'm really really excited about. When I saw that the gyms be twenty four hours, I was buzzing like, and that's actually where I'm gonna go after I make this video. Um, if I'm calling right now, it's about to turn half ten, so about to say I'll probably be at the gym for eleven. And I'm mate, it's sick. It's me good vibes to be back there at that sort of time. Um, it's just different and. Um, it's just a different vibe like people anyone there is just energy is like go 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 and that's the thing I've kind of been on this year and I feel like that's where I've took kind of the biggest steps it's self improvement so it's kind of getting myself right kind of kind of physically mentally emotionally just kind of like learning kind of channeling a lot of kind of energy and just kind of drop bad things in my life and pick drop kind of bad habits pick it up for good habits because like I say um it's like it's just a mentality you need in it because this world i think sometimes it can be so cold and people do battle so many things on their own that like you really know you really need to know kind of what your good things are what your bad things are like effectively like you do your own therapy i think kind of everyone to a certain degree does their own therapy i don't know if people do it play on the level that i do it i'm very critical i'm probably an overthinker so i like to i like to think a lot of things that are going on um and like i say i'm just trying to get better like i say man wants to go out man wants to go out on a sunday man wants to ball one day i'm playing saturday ball your man's trying to get his tinder matches up i wish i was joking but i'm actually not like you know what it's not fun when you're scrolling through your phone and like you know that little like tinder goal thing it's like oh yeah you've got you've got two potential matches and i'm like yeah i'm i'm just like it's, it's not worth my time is it scrolling through hundreds of people to yeah two potential matches i'm like i'd rather just not do it like <laughs> i value my time like someone ha you have to value your time at some point i remember when you're a kid and like stuff like that you literally spend hours going through but like oh yeah i like you i like her but they don't like you back well yeah bro get in the gym use your time more wisely get running get playing football do the right things like get on youtube get doing this twitch another thing as well big announcement i'm gonna be live all weekend on twitch playing some fifa weekend league i actually can't wait i'm buzzing you guys did request it when i was playing twitch when i was on twitch last time you're like why don't you play some weekend league i wasn't near qualifying for it but man has been grinding over the past two weeks and we are qualified for this weekend so hopefully you guys tune in twitch tv forward slash in the twitch link will be in the description i'll make sure it's in the description but come check me out and play my vibe i'm gonna have a couple of drinks it's gonna be good um like i said i've got the full twitch setup now i've got that kind of pattern it's looking good so honestly come over there it's gonna be such a good time and um like i said they played some of the best of the best on fifa and you're gonna see that boy the boy has skills i'm going for a goal too gold two which is sounds a bit mad if you guys seen me play before but i'll tell you what the fifa i'm playing it's one of the best fifa i've played in my life so bar we don't get any sort of lag or anything i'm quite confident and like i say your boy is making moves i'm feeling quite positive for the future um which is kind of something i haven't felt for a long time um like i say tier three lifestyle is killing my people it's very boring and it's hard and i feel like you're in your house and you're just consuming loads of negative news like the news like they are literally trying to make the news so negative at the moment like no nothing positive it's even like you even speak to like people who don't aren't even on the social media thing and like even speaking to them and they're like oh yeah the news trying to do this and that and it just mentioned this topic and that topic and like social media is like that twitter and facebook it all just seems kind of negative and obviously at a time like this as well where christmas is usually like going out it's like going to pubs meeting people from uni nights out like christmas is usually sick and this year it's like it's kind of all been taken away just kind of find that a bit of positivity in our lives is important it's something i think we do need to look at um i just can't remember that obviously the things could really be worse like there are people who have literally lost people um this year and rest in peace to kind of rest in peace to them of course um and yeah like this year it's talking a lot of people people have lost their jobs people have been on their face i've had a pit i'm not gonna say i have had a period where i felt like things were bad but it really weren't that bad and i got back on my feet and i got another job and i was patterned like so like i say you just count your blessings in it that uh like i say we're on to better days 2021 i've got a lot of things planned 2020 i'm trying to get set myself up the best i can i do apologize for the fact that i have been gone um it's very irresponsible of me especially with me having that free time like i said off work being like oh yeah i'm loads kind of three four videos a week and just not following through with it 
But like I say, um, kind of lockdown period. But I feel like one thing I've kind of dressed this year, it's like 2019 when I was just kind of out here. Um, it was kind of, I was probably doing more drinking than thinking. Like, to be perfectly honest with you, it's like when you can go out and like, you know, maybe I was having like a hard week at work and then just like, oh yeah, let's just go to the bar and on a Friday you get wasted and then just like chill out, drink on a Saturday and then go play football on Sunday. Like, that's the thing. It was kind of doing so much more socializing and it was like, I'm not doing actually any time with myself or for myself. Whereas now, where I feel like I know I don't really drink honestly that often. Um, and like, it's kind of just having to spend more time kind of with your sober self and thinking, oh yeah, I need to prove here, here and here. My mentality needs to prove here, here and here. Here's who I look up to. Here's some people that maybe I don't look up to as much and I'm trying to get things right in my life and that feels kind of, it feels good. It feels like I'm actually getting to a place where I'm actually there like, well, if I do it through this, this and this, then this end goal doesn't seem that far away anymore. And that is really positive. So I hope you guys kind of stick around. Um, I know it's kind of isn't been as much an entertaining video. I'm not kind of dancing around and stuff. I want the idea some different intros and like I'm gonna go back to just purely trying to try to trying to entertain a bit more. Um, but like I say, I do want to kind of do this kind of life update and just kind of be real with you and not kind of do anything kind of gimmicky uh, for this video. It's kind of have a kind of have a genuine talk and. I like the idea. I think it's important. Obviously, just had November, uh, November kind of about men opening up and stuff. I fully endorse that. And there's many things I just want to get into, man. Um, there's some like deep topics that I am going to kind of touch. I think it is important, obviously, for people to open up, feel like it's comfortable. I know kind of people look stuff on Facebook and Twitter, and people get clowned for, like the smallest stuff that shouldn't they shouldn't even be clowned for, like, but. Like I say, I feel like YouTube, that's why I love it as well. It kind of feels like my safe haven. Like, you guys are seeing me grow up, and you, I've noticed people on YouTube have a lot more patience and a lot more time. Um, but yeah, obviously, stick around, stick around for the story. Big things are coming, big things are gone. Um, like I say, over December, I am going to be dropping videos. I'll be kind of updating you on stuff. Twitch this weekend, come watch the boy ball on FIFA. I'm gonna, <laughs> mate, it's gonna be so entertaining. I'm telling you now, like. I rage at FIFA differently behind closed doors, and some, I'm like I say, there's no stadium capacity over here. You anyone can come and view. I tell you what, it's gonna be a big, big event, and it's gonna be big, it's gonna be a good, good time. So if you guys do come over to Twitch, even if you guys come over for a short while, maybe for like ten minutes or whatever, everything helps. I'm on the grind to get affiliate over there. Obviously, like I say, I'm trying to open multiple kind of streams of kind of viewership and like whatever like i'm just trying to get it all going so come and support the boy and you know what i just like i say i've just been really enjoying it even with spotify and stuff i might do a video on my spotify wrapped and i can do a video i want to make a new playlist as well so if you, if you guys are still watching at this point if you guys have got any sort of bangers for me that you want me to put add to a playlist i'm going to work on a playlist um, which I will give to you guys as soon as it's done. Kind of cold songs come out in the last kind of six months or so, kind of good songs. I don't really care kind of what genre, if it's got a vibe, then I want it in my playlist. Like, so I'm one of those people kind of discovering new artists, want to discover kind of new YouTubers. So if anyone wants to kind of, like say, wants to do any sort of collab, obviously you can call over the internet or in person, depending on how far where you live. Like, let me know. I'm open to all ears. Um, I've watched, like I can say, I just want to be on top like i'm kind of sick i don't want to sit back anymore um and yeah it's kind of come to terms with that and kind of being like oh yeah i want to prove myself i want to prove my life like it's just big things for me and it's big steps and i'm glad I, for the first time i actually feel like i'm getting somewhere so hopefully december 2020 we carry on momentum we leave this year behind 2021 we are gunning for it we are running four guns blazing we are there and we're here to take over. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you have enjoyed the video. There's no sort of pressure to do that. I have been away, so I'm not going to even force that upon yourself. If you want to kind of bless me with a like, that's more than appreciated. I appreciate every person that comes to check out my channel and even listens to me for this long. Uh, subscribe if you're new. On the way to 200 subscribers. I've got some big stories I actually haven't told on YouTube yet. But I do, I'm trying to, I want to save them for as long as possible. So if we guys get to 500 subscribers, then I'll drop my biggest 
story. I've got some other kind of mini stories that I'll drop along the way. 200, 300, 400 subscribers as well. Hopefully get on the move, get on the roads, get moving with that. And yeah, I don't want to hold you guys too long. Hopefully you have a good rest of the day. Hopefully I do drop a video before the end of this um, week. But in terms of my upload schedule, I'm not going to promise anything this time. But I'm letting you know, when I'm in the mood to drop something, I'll put everything in my heart to make sure that it's dropped. But yeah, hopefully, like I say, you're all just doing well. Just like keep in contact. Just remember that Lyndon is here and I'm here to just kind of answer any questions, vibe, whatever. Like, I'm just out here in it. Just doing my thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you guys go. Um, have a nice day and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.